What's up everybody, it's The Biz. I'm back again with another YouTube video. Today, I wanna to talk about the HANA Copper Meter. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I release a new video. And thanks for checking out the channel again. So today I received my new HANA Copper Meter from BRS. I'm just taking out the box. This will be the first time I've ever used this meter. I wanna send a shout out to Reef to Reef and to Hannah for making this meter possible. I do believe that this will make quarantine a lot easier for a lot of people. So the Hannah High Range Color Meter or the HI702 has a range of zero to five PPM. It's accurate to plus or minus 0.05 ppm so it's a very accurate meter now if you're familiar with hannah you probably already have the alkalinity meter and the either phosphate or phosphorus meters i use these all the time and i can't wait to start using this so why would you want to get this new hannah meter well first off it's going to help you quarantine any fish that you bring in that you can use copper on it will accurately test copper like never before. It's a quick test, it only takes a couple of minutes to do, and you don't have to read those hard color charts that come with the other test kits. If I'm given a choice between a HANA meter and any test kit, I'm always pretty much gonna pick the HANA. So what do we have here? We have the black case that HANA sends with all of their newer meters. Of course, the case says hand on it, and it's a nice thing to have if you want to travel around and you never know, may want to test one of your friend's water. Inside of the case, you have the red test egg or the meter. This is the HI702. It comes with a battery, two testing vials, Six test reagents, so you definitely want to go order more uh, when you get this. And it also has the quick reference and instruction guides in the case. So one of the probably biggest causes of fish death in quarantine is copper overdose. Hannah's gonna take this guesswork out of dosing copper for you. So we're gonna take a look at my quarantine tank. Right now I have four blue-green chromis in quarantine. The fish are eating, so at this point I wanna go ahead and start dosing copper. So many chromis have uronema. It is a deadly disease that I don't even want to think about getting into my tank, so that's why I'm gonna use copper. Of course, you also have ick or other parasites to worry about. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop in 3.75 milliliters of cupramine. This is the dose to bring this tank up to 0.25 parts per million, and it is the first dose. Typically with cupramine, you want to use two doses. First you bring it up halfway, and then you bring it up to the full thing. And the amount I have is for my 40 breeder. The therapeutic dose for cupramine is 0.50. So after I've made the dose, I wanna go ahead and wait an hour, and then I will get the 10 milliliters that it requires to do my test. So here's the tester, here's the vial and everything. I'm going to go ahead and put the vial into the tester, and I'm going to go ahead and push the button. It's gonna go from C1 to C2 as it takes its zero measurement. Now, one thing you wanna do with these reagents is you wanna cut the reagent envelope along the lines and kind of make a funnel with it. Now, of course, when I did this, I would just cut it across and it never really worked that way. I'm kind of glad they started marking these with the funnel and uh, that's the, the easiest way to get the powder reagent into the vial. So once you get the reagent into the vial, you go ahead and shake it for about 15 seconds or so. Now, 
After you shake it, you go ahead and put the vial back into the tester and you hold the button down. Make sure you hold the button down, just don't push it. Hold it down until the meter starts counting and when it does, it takes about 45 seconds in order for the test to be completed. Now, as you see, my test is completed and I came up with uh, 0.26 parts per million. So this is right around where I wanna be. Tells me that my dose is correct. And right now I have half the therapeutic dose of copper in my system. Now, uh, as the instructions say on the cupramine bottle, you wanna have one dose one day and then the next day put in the second dose. And that's it. And that's how we test copper these days. Very, very simple. So that's it for this HANA test. Once again, this makes testing copper easier and hopefully will mean a lot better results in quarantine for your fish. So like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you quarantine and if you do, will you be getting the, the HANA copper meter? Once again, YouTube, thank you and happy reefing.